Cut. Action. For the first renovation in the series, we are going to be doing my mom's sunroom. So my parents bought this house over 20 years ago and this room was originally a deck. So it was just like stepped off the house. And then the previous owners actually enclosed it and they turned it into, I think it was like a bird room. They kept their birds in there. So when we moved in, there was like AstroTurf on the ground. And I remember there was a skylight in the roof, but it always flooded. So when my parents remodeled it 20 years ago, they reconstructed this, the roof and I don't know exactly what's going on there. It definitely needs another update. So that's obviously what we're going to be doing. My mom loves to come and spend time in here and listen to her record. So I just want to make it a little bit more cozy and a little bit more cohesive with the rest of this house because we have started remodeling. We're helping her remodel a lot of the rest of her house this past year. So I just want everything to kind of match, if that makes sense. Yeah, I guess the first thing we need to do, right? is I have to find out what's under that ceiling because she wants to rip the ceiling out. I can tell where they added the roof. It's gonna possibly create a problem, maybe. Yeah, it might. Ashley doesn't like to hear that, but <laughs> that's kind of what's going to happen. But I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. Worst comes to worst, we have to add a little bit of framing underneath the sheetrock and rip a little bit of framing out to get what she actually wants. But... Poked by a tree. Hold on, bigger. are we too close to the camera now? All right, so today we are at my mom's house. This is day one, and the first obvious thing we need to do is clear out the space so that we can start the demolition process. And this is my least favorite time because I hate watching everything get ripped out, but I know it's necessary. This is my favorite time because Ashley loves the finish work part. I love the ripping stuff out part. My biggest task today is going to be ripping out that ceiling because I have no idea what's underneath it. And I'm pretty nervous because I haven't done this before, but I feel like <laughs> because of YouTube, I'm gonna know exactly what I'm doing. Thanks YouTube. Once I got into the roof, I realized the issue that we were facing and it was probably worst case scenario because the original roof was still there and this new framing to support it, they framed into that roof to make the roof that was existing over that. So what I need to do is give my friend Gary a call over at Rand's Roofing and find out what I need to do to be able to rip all of that out and not compromise the structure of the roof. I'm guessing we're gonna have to add some two by sixes and restructure it, but I don't know yet. I will talk to Gary and find out for sure. The second support is here. Mm -hmm with this old structured roof. What if you like tripled up the two by four on each side and ran it all the way to that support up there and to this one? Now that Gary has been here, I feel a lot more comfortable. He's given me an idea of what I need to do and it makes it a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna throw up some two by sixes, restructure it and resupport it and I'll be able to rip all the old roof out that was hiding underneath that sea ceiling.
today I'm coming over to check out the progress. I have not been here since he has ripped everything out, including the floor. So I'm really excited for this point. Everything is progress. I feel like it's all downhill uphill. or uphill. Wait, uphill sucks. Yeah, wait. Downhill is it downhill from means here? things are going bad. But so it's it, all smooth sailing. It is smooth sailing. It's all smooth. <laughs> She thinks it's all smooth sailing. This is my favorite part because it starts to improve, right? We get to see the progress. Yes, is that the yes. word I'm looking for? Yes. The progress. From this point on, you know, he's gonna install the shiplap, the fireplace, bada boom, bada bing. It's like quick, quick, chop, chop, you know? Okay, first of all, it's not <laughs> as simple as bada bing, bada boom, 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 boom. No, but like we can't even film until I figure out how to build the fireplace. That's true. So, and it's not gonna be chop, chop, chop. I'm, <laughs> I run a tight I'm ship. one man. Like I ripped all this out in less than a day and she's like, so let's go. Like next, I'm like, dude, I need some time to recover. I'm by myself. <laughs> we don't got a crew here. You're right. And I feel bad because I can't really do anything besides critique him the besides whole time. Boom, 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 <laughs> chop, chop, chop. Once he's reached this point, he can start ship lapping everything. And when I mean everything, the ceiling, almost every wall, I think every wall except for one. Wow. That's so, like a lot. Of that's a lot of ship lap. <laughs> It's like a lot of shit left. It's like a lot. We decided to use this pre-finished shiplap instead of doing our traditional shiplap where I rip it into eight inch cuts. It saved a ton of time doing it this way and the cost is about $7 a board. You see that I'll start on the left side of the room and work my way to the right and then I do the same thing on the ceiling. Did you trip on your Nikes though? No, but I got them on my pants. Those pants but are these are bucks. white, that's fine. Those Nikes are 160 bucks. Oh my gosh, the first thing I do, I open this and I paint my leg. Five bucks. Today is Thomas's favorite day. Painting is what he looks forward to out of all the remodels. It's the painting process. That's a lie. <laughs> it is a lie. He cries about it the whole time. But I need help. I can't do all of it by myself, you know? Did you really just say you can't do all of this by yourself? I meant the paint. <laughs> all you have reach, to do is paint. I can't read. The all only of thing it. I don't like to do is paint. It's like it's one thing. Like I will do all of it. Apparently mm -hmm. Ashley does all of it. <laughs> I will do all of it if I don't have to paint. Just don't make me paint. Next time we're hiring painters. When did today turn into a paint? When did today turn into a painting day? Yeah, like I thought I was building stuff. Well, we gotta do this first, right? Not really, not like. And then we can get the floor in. I don't want to paint on the floor. I was going to build the beams while they're up there. The only downside to that is because this, I'm using one by fours and one by sixes, it's gonna be so hard to like adjust it and get them even as I shoot them in with the pin nailer. So I'm gonna pre-build them. If I build them up there and, and they're a little bit off and some pieces are, I'm gonna have to sand them down and we just painted. And so it was like a catch 22. Either I put them up and painted after and had to tape around them and risked touching the stain with a little bit of tape or with a little bit of paint or we do it this way. So I'm going to pre-build them, which is going to be tough to get them up there because I'm here by myself, but I've done it before. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to like hold one hand up and we're about to find out.
we're building a fireplace here, a fake one, right? We're, we're going to put her little, what is that even called? A fireplace? What is that? This is my basic framing of it that I'm going to get started so I knew how wide it was going to be because based off of a space heater. I don't like that it's a space heater. That's Fire. what it is. It's like a pop, it's a wannabe pop belly. All right, whatever that is, the heater. <laughs> We're building this for the heater, and I needed to know what size it was and how much shiplap I needed. So it looks like I'm a little bit short in shiplap, which is quite annoying. But I will frame it down in here, and I'll show you guys how I'm going to kind of get that started just to make it strong. But it's going to run up the whole wall and go to the ceiling. So it should be pretty sweet. Oh, crap. What? It has legs that it's supposed to sit on. So maybe... Why? Don't even put no, 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 they look, it makes it look so much better though. How much? So maybe just add another inch to that, okay? Another inch Just to add that? another inch just in case. Today has been a very productive day because I've installed the lights, I've built the fireplace, I've gotten all of that finished. So we're finally starting to see the room come together mm -hmm. and it's not just a ripped out mess. Mm -hmm. So Thomas puzzled everything together. He was really hesitant about this. He was like, I'm not really quite sure what I'm doing here, but he, what kind of glue did you use? What was the process of gluing this on? Well, my first piece, I did glue, I did the caulk, and I did another type of glue because I just wasn't sure if this was actually going, I've never done this before. You've never glued plastic onto a fireplace before? I've never glued plastic <laughs> onto, I didn't even know this stuff existed. Worst part is actually bust out the camera starts filming right as I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, woman, people on YouTube are ruthless. We're not putting this on YouTube. Like, let me figure this out first, watch a couple tutorials, and then you could start filming. There were She's no like, tutorials. No, no, no. There she says, none. just boom, boom, boom. Just do it. <laughs> just boom, boom, boom. All right. <laughs> I found caulk. out that caulk is actually the best thing to use on top of glue as well, just because the caulk almost dries immediately. Right, it's like sticky. It sticks it's, right yeah, to it. Yeah. I also turned my pin nailer on as weak as it can go and shot a few of those in there just to get it in place and hold it there while I pieced it together. Then I glued it. On. Yeah. For the final look of the fireplace, we used some Alex Plus spackle in a grout bag and we just kind of went through there. We actually found the process was easier with Thomas grouting while I would go around and like smear it in and then I would dab it with a terry cloth. So that's how we got the look and I feel like we did that fairly quickly. It was like a 40 like minute process. Really so it teamwork. Very fast. Very fast. Teamwork. Oh, that was messed up. Teamwork. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ashley's mom already had a back door picked out and ready to go, so this wasn't in the budget for what we were doing, but I had helped put in a few exterior doors before, so I felt like the room wouldn't be complete if I didn't put that back door in, Right. which ended it. up being a lot harder than I thought because the original structure and framing of this room was almost like a DIY before they had YouTube. It was. It was, it was probably like 30 a, years ago. Yeah, so like it was not, the framing wasn't square. I had to mess with all of that and mm. lots of shims. Anyway. 
It Lots was a disaster. Shoes. But I don't think we even filmed that. So here's the door, which is beautiful. Uh, yeah, the process was like an all day thing, but I think it made the whole room, like having that extra window just brightens up the room even more. Today is my very favorite day besides reveal day, and that is when I get to finally decorate this space. I'm using some pieces she already had around her home and just restyling them in here. And I spray painted her wicker chairs a sand color to give them a fresh new look. So we left some of the original trim up because my dad had installed this when they first did the makeover like 20 years ago. And my dad passed away last year. So I wanted to leave some of his finished work in the room. So we just painted over it, left it as it was, and then shook out the other walls and the ceiling. For the total cost of materials, the shiplap was around $415, the fireplace materials were $120, the trim was $30, the flooring was $159, the light fixtures were $112, the paint was $40, and the beams were $50. So that gives us a grand total of $926. Up top. That was not good. We did it. We did it under $926, not including Thomas's wages. Yeah. Now, okay, let me show What's you this. this. Isn't this so cool? Oh! Okay, this actually works. So, you can make it hot. So, it makes the room super hot, but this is a lot better than the little, little tiny heater you had in here. <laughs> you know? Your little one to heat How oh, did you ever think of this? I can't. I can't. You like the door? Oh! Yes! You have, look at it. It actually closes. So, it's not heat. You work on this all day. At this, a door that closes and opens. And, and opens. And beams. And beams. That no part's ugly. <laughs> oh yeah, that light. So he moved that. And it's not cute. I wanted it to feel like you're still out on a porch. I so that's why we did the ship lap this way. This is like an exterior look, you know? And look at the ceiling. I know. It's so much taller. It feels twice as... How it literally it was... ever think of this? Six feet tall in here. So I'm never going to leave this room. The floor is beautiful. Isn't this pretty? I see. I love that up there. It's beautiful. Oh! Wow! The most gorgeous room. Okay, I'm never leaving this room. Wow, I have a fireplace. I know. I've got that books. Cool? This, this is, um, I love that up there. Well, my mom loved the space. I think you can tell by her reaction. This is probably one of my favorite rooms in our house. I think we'll spend a lot of time in here. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the first episode in many more to come. We hope you stick around. If you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that. And also a shout out to Thomas for doing all of the work <laughs> and making <laughs> my vision come to life. That's what's so fun about doing this with you is we get to, you know, well, I get to hang out and critique you while you work. Carpenters are replaceable. We don't have any ideas. 
Okay, so uh, when I'm saying that, I'm also joking. I feel like none of this could have happened without your ideas. Anybody can build stuff. That's but a lie. to actually come up with ideas on what to build is a whole different story. Because if you told me to do that room, I would have just been like, just tell me what to build and I'll build it. Well, we make a good team. We do. All right. See you guys next time. What did I say? My hair is all over you. I could never do television. <laughs> <laughs> we got some intruders. And action. It's cold. <laughs> okay. It's really cold. Danny. Whoa, oh, that's right. weird. <laughs> Okay. On Oops. one of the, oh no, was that, I mean, oh, oh you're Ready? cute. And take 647 action. Are you freaking kidding me, babe? The cushions got here today. <laughs> Look how, like, good and fluffy and plump. These were lost in the mail for like three weeks. I ordered these way before we even started doing the renovation and they showed up the day after. That's a good What are the fit. chances? Yeah, that is. Look at that. There's, there's two and then there was like a long cushion too. What a bummer.